once that said, you can wake up early, drink enough water, take your vitamins, go to the gym, eat healthy, but until you figure out what's in your head, you're not healthy. This led me to realize that I was bored with my life. Every day I would stick to the same routine. I restricted myself from going out with my friends and family because I had to be productive. But at the end of each day, I couldn't help but feel like I was just existing, but never living. I constantly prioritized growth and achievement, but never stopped to appreciate the small things that make everyday mundane life so beautiful. So this is a reminder that you can balance life, study, and everything in between. And so without further ado, welcome to this not so study vlog. Oh my god, I truly forgot my coffee at the top of my car. about to hop on a meeting with one of my creators that I represent at my agency. <laughs> I'm on my iPad right now. Hello, how are you going? Hi. Today's just one of those big days. I would really just sit on my table, but it's just full to the brim with clothes because I'm packing for Bali in a week and a bit. <sighs> so there's just so much going on. I'm just trying to tie all the loose ends and also try to execute so that things will be working for me passively when I'm in Bali. So, um, that's my day for you.
with my friend Ash and Jamie right now. I always spend an hour every Sunday just writing down everything I need to do for the following week just time blocking it all out so that I can make sure that I'm on top of everything and that I get everything done so I've got uni I have my agency, I have the new business that I'm working on, I have to study, I have my own content creation and I just have like social activities if I do have to commit to those. So yeah, it's like honestly chaos, I've got like six different calendars but like I've found that time blocking has really really helped. Happy birthday! 